I, I don't understand how we got so toxic and just so divided and so bitter. And I, I, I get why sometimes people just don't want to pay attention to it. And we all have friends like that. We have family members who are just like, ah, you know, it's all, it's all a circus out there. I get that. Originals will be in the description. I will stop and start. Talk about lack of self-awareness. My goodness. You don't think you had any part in that, Barack? <clears throat> None whatsoever. Detroit! What up, though? So look, I wrote down a few things I wanted to say. I love you too, thank you. I'm here tonight for a couple of important reasons. I wanna know what those important reasons are because I have some ideas as to why you're there. But let's see what you wrote down. But let me know in the comments, y'all let me know what's the, the main reason why he's there, why he all of a sudden showed up at this rally and is stumping for Harris Walls. As most of you know, the city of Detroit and the whole state of Michigan mean a lot to me. And going into this election, the spotlight is on us more than ever, and I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. I also I think vote. that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. Mm. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. It's, ama it's amazing how they lie about the things that they themselves are doing. Totalitarianism, it's, it's their bread and butter. It's, it's not, whoa, okay, well. The vibes. Come on, you know, I, I have done a lot of rallies, so I don't usually get nervous. But I was feeling some kind of way following Eminem. I mean, I notice my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on my sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but on the surface, I look calm and ready to drop bombs, but I keep on forgetting. Bards, right? <laughs> Black people fall for this. This is crazy. This is amazing to me. I don't care about either one of these people. I don't. Well, number one, I don't even like rap music, so this doesn't move me at all. And <laughs> they fall for this. Oh man! At some point, you have to ask yourself, why, Lord? And I know the answer, right? The Bible already talks about this in Romans 1, that, that we've given over God in our thinking, so God gives us over to a reprobate mind to do, all, to do what ought not to be done. And then there's just this list of things that easily describe, I mean, that clearly describe America right now. And it's amazing to me, but the, the most frustrating thing about this is that Christians don't seem to get this professing Christians. Now, and there are some possessing that 
who who don't he's a vibe he's so cold and 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 he came out he knows how to work a crowd and that's he does i will give him credit he knew this crowd is is his right now i love rhetorically i loved what barack obama just did you know i'm not normally nervous but i gotta say i feel some kind of way coming out after eminem and then proceeds to lyrically explain himself using eminem's lose yourself song masterful for the for the audience he has connected himself well to the audience but is this what we care about when it comes to who's going to govern our country vibes will not fix the border vibes will not fix the economy vibes will not get us out of all of these proxy wars vibes are not going to sustain this country this country was not built on vibes Vibes are what you get when you have nothing to offer but superficiality and nothing. It's just sleight of hand. So you bring out M&Ms, you bring out Lizzo's, you bring out Magic Johnson's, you bring out who, who else have they brought? Out? Oh, what's her name? Uh, the 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 rapper Meg The Stallion. You bring these people out when you don't have anything of of substance to provide your constituents we're trying to figure out right now as a country we are in crisis right now and ultimately it's because we have given over given god away in our thinking and he has given us over to what we desire and the deleterious destructive devilish effects of all of the things that we've said lord we want this and we don't want you at some point we have to ask ourselves which side is pushing that which side is pushing deletion of children which side is pushing the redefinition of marriage the redefinition of man and woman redefining everything at breakneck speed they they booed god in their party platform we have to begin to ask ourselves these questions because god is asking you whom you who are you going to serve who which which of these groups now again i'm not into christless conservatism but i reckon i can recognize this the sharp distinction between the progressives today and conservatives one hates us and the other one at least tolerates us see if we can get these tolerators to worship the lord through the preaching of the gospel and the discipleship and getting back to centrality of god in our thinking thank you again to all the members and financial supporters until next time be on the alert stand firm in the faith act like men be strong see y'all around bye